The Penn State Nittany Lions and the Atlanta Falcons both lost this weekend because they accidentally scored a touchdown. This is going to be handed off to number 28, and he didn't realize in time, he, he, he didn't realize that he didn't want to go in. And so that gives Indiana a chance and a first down completion. Penix, their quarterback, drops back. Lefty throws, and it is somehow caught by number two, Hewitt. A great catch. He gets his helmet ripped off there. Penix is going to try and punch it in, and he does with the second effort. A little extracurricular activity, but Indiana is a two-point conversion away from taking this puppy most likely into overtime. It's going to be a quick QB draw, and it gets Penix into the end zone. So Indiana most likely will take this to overtime. However, they try an onside kick. I think that was try uh, attempted to be a squib kick, actually. But it, it was more closer to an onside kick than a squib. Gives Penn State a chance for a last-second field goal, and it comes up just short. No one back there to return it. So then the best college the the best rules in overtime come into play the college football overtime rules are the best overtime rules ever Clifford trying to keep Penn State's number eight seed in the college football rankings a nice throw and a nice catch in the end zone for a touchdown for Penn State they would kick a PAT Penix trying to duplicate and stay alive in the game he throws to the end zone and it is caught by number one their receiver Indiana scores the touchdown, but they want to go for the jugular. They want to go for the win, not the tie. Penix rolling out to his left, dives for the pylon, and he gets there. And a huge upset caused by an accidental touchdown by Penn State's running back. But that wasn't the only accidental touchdown that was scored this weekend. Falcons and Lions. Matt Ryan is going to... Handed off to Todd Gurley. He breaks a tackle and accidentally goes into the end zone. When was the last time you saw the defense celebrating a touchdown? So now the Lions down six with comeback Stafford. In the backfield, Stafford steps up and gets away from pressure. Throws and it's caught to Hawkinson. And he stays inbounds somehow. A nice job by the Falcons there. That's what they teach you to do. Stafford getting away from pressure, sidearm throw, and a ridiculous throw and catch to Amendola in the middle of the field. Stafford running out of time. He throws under cover, uh, under pressure, and it is caught inside the 10. The Lions get up and spike it really quick. A perfect throw right over the head of 54, the middle linebacker. Stafford, last play of the game. He gets away from pressure, throws, and it is a walk-off touchdown to tie the game for the Lions, and then the PAT would win it for him. The most automatic kicker in the league, Matt Prater, would do the trick. And once again, Gurley's accidental touchdown lost Atlanta the game. Only the Falcons can do that, but the Nittany Lions also did it, and will most likely lose their... Number eight rank.